Oh, this is the third update on the jet engine project. Uh, haven't done a whole lot really. Uh, mainly because I haven't had access to a MIGUADA since last Thursday. But I've got this bracket done, which has come up pretty nice. I've had to put a bit of a spacer in there uh, to fit the bolts under there, but uh, I've ground that up and it's quite good for the purpose anyway. I've also put this, this will be the air intake or the air inlet and that's your exhaust outlet so I've tacked that on with the, with the arc welder it's pretty rough but I'll do that tomorrow uh, i finish off the flame tube uh, stainless steel I think it's 140 140 wide by 350 and I've got a cobalt drill bit and drilled all those holes. No point trying it without with a normal hardened steel drill bit. It'll ruin it after the you won't even get one hole done really. So yeah just wait till you get the proper stuff if you're trying to do it yourself. But it still took me a couple of hours to do that. It's a pain in the ass but it needs to be done. I've also got these back plates done with let's see what we mounted see a very back plate. Got this graphite um, seal and this is the plate mounted onto the the outer of the combustion chamber. Uh, I've also got all the stuff I need for the fuel, the oil and fuel system. So I've got the two pumps like this, submerged fuel pumps, 12 volt. And I've got these T valve T sections with needle valves. What will happen is so I've the um, the regulator here have the pressure gauge here and this will be connected straight up like this a bit of pipe in between uh, and this will be a pipe going back to the reservoir and this will go to the turbocharger so what will happen is when you open this it will let more pressure back to the tank therefore there will be less pressure going to the turbocharger which will be able to regulate with this so when you close it off it will divert all the, all the oil to the turbo quite a simple way of doing it and um, I've got a, a fuel pressure regulator there which is automated but uh, so I'll keep it simple with that and um, I'll be able to mount that uh, on the frame through the steel so I have a nice little adjustment there with a pressure gauge next to it and it'll be the same for the fuel system which will be uh, kerosene uh, that's about it really uh, more updates probably midweek definitely get the fuel this um, combustion chamber going by the weekend if not more uh, yes I'll be able to tune that anyway and then next weekend I'll try and get all the fuel and oil system together and um, mount it up all the I've done the turbocharger mounting bolt straight onto there which I did today and there'll be another mount going to here to the back of the combustion chamber so it supports its own weight and then I will probably won't need it yet but I'll do the afterburner eventually need another bit of stainless steel to do that so yeah, it's all going very well and more updates midweek, see ya